Billy Terry. I'm the Sensor Sampling Product Manager, and today I'll be showing you the live operation of our BBSS sample system. The BBSS design is utilized in a fast loop, meaning we have a high pressure side feeding the system and a low pressure return going back to the main line. What I'll be showing you today is an actual live sample being collected and how the nitrogen purge works in conjunction with that sample. So one of the issues is when you go to put a bottle inside of the shroud and line up the valve to fill the bottle with sample, the fact that there's a vent that's venting the bottle and if that vent were to become plugged, you could actually put pressure into that bottle and rupture that bottle. So it's ideal that the nitrogen purge is utilized on the BBS system. So with the bo bottle properly installed and nitrogen flow on the flow meter here, that indicates that the vent is cleared and it is okay at that point to take a sample. So the operator knows at that point when they open this valve that the bottle will fill properly and the vapors will be vented away properly without overpressuring or pressurizing the bottle. So as we open the BBSS sample valve, you'll see that the sample bottle begins to fill. As the liquid is flowing in, you can also see that I can throttle the flow back and actually adjust the flow from a very, very small drip to a full flow into the bottle and giving me that control and that reliability of knowing that I'm not going to overfill that bottle as I can adjust that flow as needed. Once the bottle is actually filled to the right volume, I can simply throttle back and close the valve, stopping the bottle from filling. Now my bottle is full and ready to be taken out the nitrogen is also being uh, flown through there to clean out any residual that's remaining in that process needle prior to me pulling that bottle out. So now when we remove the sample bottle, you'll see that we don't have any residual on the top of the cap. There's no dripping that's occurring because the nitrogen has pushed all of that sample out. Now the bottle can be turned over and jostled around without any contamination or any process coming out that septa and dripping onto the operator or going to the environment. And we have a great sample here that's ready to go back to the lab. So some of our customers ask, well, why do I need the needle purge? What's the importance of that? You know, I've got the BBSS valve here, which is designed for very little dead volume, and, it's, and it does a really good job at eliminating dead volume. However, I'd like to do a quick demonstration here for what actually happens when you don't use the needle purge. So what I'll do for this test is I'll actually fill the bottle like we did before. And rather than filling it all the way to the top, I'll go ahead and take, take that and stop right there. Now I've got my volume and I'm ready to pull my bottle away. Now without nitrogen flowing, when I pull that bottle off, you'll see there, I do not have any residual that's coming out and, and dropping on top of the cap. But what I do have is a vapor locked amount of sample inside of that needle and inside of the sample port of that sample valve. Now when I turn on my nitrogen, you'll actually be able to see that residual get shot out with the nitrogen. So as you saw that residual that's vapor locked up into the sample valve and the needle that came out onto my hand, that sample will be sitting there until the very next sample is taken. That means that that sample, if it could crystallize or set up, would plug the needle for the next sample. Or if it doesn't, it's still going to cross-contaminate the next sample the next time an operator comes out to collect a sample. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on sensor sampling systems, please go to the SOR YouTube channel.